My name is Nicholas Francis, and this project is about point source pollution in the atmosphere, concentrating on ammonia emission. Ammonia emissions are mainly prevalent anywhere there is farmland. The reason for this is because of the use of fertilizers with ammonia in them, in addition to the increasing population of domestic animals. With the increasing population, the demand for more farmland and domestic livestock is dramatically increasing as well. This issue is becoming larger because of the increasing demand. The demand for more food resources will indirectly increase the amount of emissions, putting more into the atmosphere. There are also other sources of ammonia emissions in the atmosphere, including different industrial plants and their processes, as well as motor vehicles, whether they are a small motorbike or a 400-ton dump truck. There are some acidic aerosols in the atmosphere that react with ammonia, such as sulfuric acid, nitric acid, or even hydrochloric acid in their gaseous form. The reactions depend mostly on atmospheric conditions such as temperature and humidity. Although, when the reactions occur, an ammonium cation is formed, NH4+, along with some aerosols. This chain of reactions in the atmosphere not only changes the chemical structure of some parts of the balanced atmosphere, it also affects the deposition rate of the ammonia in the biosphere. Now, not only does it begin to affect the atmosphere, it also affects the biosphere and the plants and animals. This issue occurs mainly in agricultural areas due to the livestock and ammonia-based fertilizer, but it also comes from industrial plants and cars. There isn't one single point source for this, rather it comes from many different places, but it is happening around the entire world. Research has been carried out around the world, including places in the United States as well as in Germany. As ammonia gas is transported through the air and is deposited wherever the air currents take it, there is not an efficient way to measure who is affected the most over others. But there are studies that have been done to measure the levels of deposition in different areas, including one study that specifically studied the fluxes of ammonia within different grasslands in Germany. Ultimately, given the nature of movement of particles and material in the atmosphere, everyone is affected by ammonia in one way or another. Not only is it a problem in the air, but it is also a problem in the biosphere because of the deposition of the gas. There are a couple of reasons this information relates to physical geography, the first reason being the way ammonia is transported. It is released into the atmosphere, and by way of prevailing winds and different weather patterns, it is dispersed throughout the atmosphere and around the world. The second major reason this connects back to physical geography is the way the atmospheric conditions react with the gases in the atmosphere. Temperature and humidity are both major factors in the way these different gases react with each other. There have been studies going on to address the problem of point source pollution for decades. There was a study done in 2002 that tested a new technology that accurately pinpointed an artificial point source in a field from a separate location using LIDAR. This was a successful test that introduced a new way to test for these emissions. A study in Minnesota measured the deposition in different fields and the results showed that there was a major factor depending on the size of the point source and the distance from the source. This information is used in making decisions to attempt to remove ammonia from the atmosphere. Fertilizers that are not ammonia based are one of the main ways to solve this problem and the evidence that has been researched is a motivator for people to transition to these fertilizers that have less ammonia for the industrial and automotive businesses, changes are being made to mainly address the emissions other than ammonia that have to do with global warming, such as carbon and carbon dioxide, but these changes are indirectly helping with the levels of ammonia in the atmosphere. Atmospheric point source pollution isn't something small that you can overlook, especially since ammonia emissions are involved. These emissions over long periods of time cause major issues with the balance of the atmospheric gases and can lead a positive feedback loop that fuels other problems that are already occurring and makes them worse.